when when have you ever slept with a woman because she had a nice personality you know <laughs> i mean can you can you bang a nice personality i mean does that ever happen is that what they're hoping to do that you know guys are going to go out and and start just you know being with women because they're because they're because they're you know have a nice personality have something interesting to say about i don't know saving baby seals or some shit like that yeah. That's, that's not my first thought, and I don't think that that's a first thought for any guy. Uh, yeah, I've got into, I've got into it with with women about this all the time. But then they go and they'll they'll pull their own husbands, or they'll they'll ask you know their boyfriends or whatever. Um, you know, within the first like five seconds of seeing a woman, guys process in their brain whether or not that is a reproductive opportunity or is that not a, a reproductive opportunity. And, and women much, do the exact same thing to men. And they, do, and, they, and they do, and they do, but they get appalled when we do it because it seems like we're objectifying women. And that's another thing that I don't think women really fully understand is that men objectifying women uh, sexually, uh, you know, just as a, as, as a, uh, you know, a pile of body parts pretty much, that's biological and that is the way that our brains are wired that's how we evolve because you think about our evolutionary past we we look at you know we look at the the danger of the environment of our tribalistic past we look at the the uh, you know how these these this metal firmware sort of evolved into our brains in in our evolutionary past we had to be able to hit it and quit it and get and get going to the next one because that was how our breeding strategy worked back then and so as a result of that we as men look, say, okay, uh, she looks like she's okay, nice tits, now, you know, hourglass shape, uh, hips, you know, looks like she can have children. Let's go, you know, and it's and that's one reason why guys, you know, a healthy man with a healthy testosterone level can get hard on a on a on a dime because when they see a Playboy centerfold, they go, oh yeah, that looks good. Why, well, why is it instantaneous? It's instantaneous because back in the day. We had to be that fast. We had to get in there because we didn't know if there was going to be a sexual rival. We didn't know if that woman was, you know, was part of another guy's harem, uh, or you know, I'm saying this in general terms, it's not an actual harem, but um, just saying that you, we had to be able to hit it and get it and go. And so what happens is our brains, when we see a naked woman, when we see a beautiful woman in a swimsuit or whatever else, it triggers the same parts of our brains as tool use. And so what we're thinking about when we look at that woman is we're trying to solve a reproductive problem. We're saying, can I get, first of all, is she worth getting? Is she fit? Does she look good? Now, second of all, how do I get it? And how do I get it? I got to think with my rational, you know, uh, objective mind. And so, yes, I objectify that woman. This woman over here is a better sexual opportunity than this woman over here. So yes, you're going to, you're going to objectify those things. Now, women get upset with that because the criteria for our objectification is completely different from the criteria that women have for their own objectification. And we were talking about this before, where it was, you know, women or men objectify women sexually, well, women objectify men as a success object. That is true, but that is only true up to a point because women's, remember, hypergamy is alpha fucks and beta bucks. So women will also, just as much as men, objectify objectify men as sexual objects, but they also will objectify men as success objects because remember, they're looking to meld the two things, alpha fucks and beta bucks. So it's it's kind of disingenuous uh, for women to say that they don't objectify men on both accounts. Whereas at least men, we, we pretty much keep it to the physical side of things and we don't go, well, it looks like she's got a lot of money too. So I think maybe I should get with her. You know, we're just like what you were saying. Nobody, nobody, uh, Nobody rationalizes a woman into bed. You know, it's all that physical. It's all that looking. It's all that sexual tension. It's all the, the biological evolved kind of, you know, that cocktail of chemicals that runs through our bodies. That right there is what sexual dynamics are made out of. What happens after that is, is he a good dad? Would he make good parental investment? All that good stuff. That also comes along and women objectify men as good providers, as good, you know, uh, I, I tend to criticize uh Pastor Peterson on this, but he sticks to one side of it. He thinks that women only objectify men in terms of what they've done with themselves and in long-term security and in the beta buck side of hypergamy. And he completely ignores the, the sexual side of things, or I should say completely ignores it, but he kind of sweeps it off to the side because he thinks that, you know, because he wants men to be better men, right? So he says, well, women really want better men. So here's how you do that. Well, 
you're only focusing on the beta buck side of things. Yeah, case. if he doesn't think his wife or, or or daughter gets turned on when they see a strong masculine man in like a, a fireman's calendar, mm -hmm. you know, he's smoking something. 